Hi everyone and welcome back to Prefusion. So today we have Deepayan with us. So he has secured AIR 29 from EC branch and AIR 24 from IN branch. So yeah, uh, Deepayan, please introduce yourself to our viewers. Uh, so uh, my name is Deepayan Das. I am the final year student of Shadap University and I am currently studying uh, electronics and telecommunication here. So, uh, yeah, like uh, tell tell us a bit about achievement. Like you got the, such a great year this time. So tell us a bit about the preparation journey. Like did you start from second year or third year, or did you give gate on third year also? So you can tell us about that. Yeah, actually I gave uh, gate in the third year, but that was not very. I was not very prepared at that time. Okay. But uh, this year I was uh, like, I I had an idea for going for the PSUs and all, so I gave gate seriously this time. And my preparation start uh, started around uh, August or something like that. Okay. But that was very basic preparation. August uh, 2020. Uh, yeah, 2024. 2024, not 2023, I think. 2023, you meant. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So you only started from August itself. Like before yeah. that, it was only like you're not fully preparing for it, I think. Is it? Yeah, yeah. That at that time I was preparing for placements. Okay, okay. But not uh, more towards the. Case okay, okay. Yeah. So you did you like prepare with uh, self study or like you took uh, coaching or something? No, I haven't had any coaching. It was all YouTube. Okay, okay. Materials that are okay, available. okay. With only YouTube, so that's that's great. So how did you use Thank YouTube you. so effectively? So many viewers may want to know. Like uh, they also want to study through YouTube. So what strategy you followed to like uh, sort out the lectures and all that? Uh, I actually. I actually used to like uh, like take one crash course at a time. Like so you study from crash course itself. That. Yeah, that was the I haven't had any full course. Okay, like, I think your concepts were already course. very clear uh, with to start off with. I think that's why like you uh, crash course were very comfortable for you, is it? Yeah, like not that much I will tell. Okay, but uh, the crash course that are available in YouTube are like very efficient. Okay, okay. For anyone to study and like get a good score okay okay, okay. so i actually uh, like i focused on a subject at a time like if i wanted to study control i used to finish the whole crash course of control in around maybe 7 days maybe 10 days depending on the length of the crash course okay but no full courses definitely okay I didn't take any full course so okay you only study through crash courses okay so like how did yeah, you yeah. like manage your time so effectively you had college as well and from what i understand that chatapur university is pretty strict as i was from the same college also so how did you manage your time yeah, so effectively yeah, yeah. with uh, studies and all semesters so like uh it was like uh for the semesters we all know that we don't we didn't need, need to study that much yeah but we had uh, in between we had class days also and sometimes we have yeah, yeah, other yeah. things as well like labs and vibes all those things so yeah yeah so when there were exams so like i used to study like three or four days before that and the rest of the time i actually dedicated to my gate preparation okay okay well, only three or four days before that you used to start studying and this was time only used to uh yeah, 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 yeah for yeah. gate itself okay okay yeah. so uh like uh any specific strategies you followed while preparing like uh focus more on revision or like focus more on test series anything specific you follow uh i will say that uh like if you have started your preparation from august like from the august you have placements and all in most of the colleges so you can't give all your time towards the gate preparation you have to be more focused on what you are trying to achieve in the placements so like from the october you have to be uh, very much focused on the gate like you have to decide that you have to give gate and get a good marks so at that time like from october to december mid you have to like i had completed my syllabus as a whole okay then it was all about giving test series tests and uh -huh. like test okay. series yes Okay, because like uh, for many students, I think who are starting from scratch, I think they will take more time. Like uh, if someone is preparing a full course, I think it will take uh, him yeah, or yeah. her more time to complete other subjects. Generally, it is uh, told that it it may take around one year to complete the whole get preparation. Like it is a one year journey. But like you are already, I think, a brilliant student. That's yeah, yeah, why yeah. You, you finished it so early. So it it most so happen. So like uh, how many tests you gave like before uh, your uh, like examination full length test? Uh, it was around like. I had given around 15 tests okay. before the exam okay. because I got January as a whole. Okay, okay. So like 
I used to skip one day and give exam on the. Oh, so every other day you used to so, give exam. So like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and how you used to analyze the test? Like you gave the test, then you analyzed it, then again wrote down the question or something yeah. or what you used to do. Like I used to do one thing that uh, I gave the exam in the morning. So I got the evening for the analytical parts, like to analyze the mistakes and all. Okay. Then the next day I used to revise. Oh, okay, yeah. That which questions I Couldn't, had okay. done. So you you went back to the full notes. Did you make any notes or you didn't make any notes? Yeah, yeah. I made in notes from the YouTube also. Okay, okay. And also I used to write some questions that uh, those were very important to me. It seemed very important to me. Okay. So I used to keep a note of those questions. Like in my uh, notes only, like the main notes. Okay, okay. Like after so the chapter or to... something, is it like you? Uh... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So like I had uh, handwritten notes. Like I wrote all the notes of all the subjects, and uh, on like in a copy or like I used to maintain a copy like that. So in the end of the copy, like each subject had a copy. So at the end of the copy, I used to write the questions that were like very important ones. Okay. And uh, for the PYQs, I had a book for the PYQs. So I used to mark the important PYQs. Like yeah, yeah, PYQs. marking is very important. I used also used to do that. So did you had any short notes also, or you didn't create any short notes? No, I actually had one note only. So that was, and there I used to mark the important points that this formula is for this. So I used to mark or bold them or highlight them with something. Okay, okay, that, that was your basically short notes. Uh, basically, the highlighted part was. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. So uh, basically, you, like you got your placements or you didn't got placed or something. Yeah, but this year is uh, yeah yeah placements were not very good season yeah yeah so I got my placement in December but uh, like so the the main concern was that uh, from August I started preparing for the placements so so how August, did you manage that basically December, like uh, how did you keep keep on like the motivation up for gate like you are prepared for placements also few people lose over right let me just prepare for placements yeah, yeah, only yeah. don't let me skip the gate so how did you manage that thing. Uh, basically, the condition was that when uh, the the companies didn't came uh, in September also, okay, okay. so my mind actually shifted that I have to do something yeah, yeah, yeah. at least yeah, yeah. for the future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the gate gate was the best option for that. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So like uh, as I told that uh, I had an intention of going to the PSUs, so for that reason, gate was the only thing. I and I started preparing a little bit. From the beginning, like whenever we had the classes, I used to watch some videos. Maybe. Okay, okay, yeah. But that was not a, a concrete preparation. Okay. That was like making some. Okay, that was not serious. Before. That was not serious. Yeah. But uh, yeah, after yeah, yeah. August, you that became like serious. more serious. September, like when the companies uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. were not coming actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. That is what like kept you motivated. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So like, uh, uh, how were your marks in the test series? What type of marks you got? Like. Was it very good or bad? And what happened when you got bad? Like some something like that. Uh, like uh, initially the in the like I had uh, taken the Made Easy test series. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so in that test series, you have like many full length tests of different difficulty. Yeah. Some are like basics. Like you have got four tests for the basics. Then you have four advanced and then four mocks. So in the four basics, I scored well, like above sixty. Around, okay. but uh, like in the advanced exams, like the score fell very hard. Okay. So that was a that was very demotivating for me. At but uh, what was your ranks like, like in the test series, or was it in the test series? I uh, in the uh, in the basics, I used to come under twenty at that time. Uh, and uh, like uh, uh, advanced, and and in the advanced, the rank fell very hard. Like it was around. Sometimes it went to seventy, hundred, okay. hundred twenty, anything. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so that was quite demotivating. So, like, I whenever I like, I felt that the questions were not uh, rightly framed. Like the difficulty were too high, or the questions are too long to solve. So I came back to the PYQs to study the PYQs once again. Oh. And like I used to give, like the year-wise exams. Like year wise, get previous year questions as it is to check my marks there and to compare with the original cutoffs. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Few people, few students also asked me like uh, two, three months ago the same thing. What you did? Like sometimes what happens, you get very demotivated when you are getting very low marks in the test series. So, uh, yeah, yeah, so yeah, they, yeah. what they do is they try to like uh, do the previous year question, year wise as you did, right? To get back the motivation yeah, and stuff. Yeah. Because those questions are, I think, much much uh, easier yeah, and doable yeah. than the this difficult level test questions. I think. Yeah, and they they were more like they are more relevant to the gate rather yeah, than yeah, yeah. like. For the selection process, so yes, yeah, that, that is one. Yeah. So, like, uh, in the last few days, what did you do? Like, in the last week or say, like, many people say that you shouldn't give test series in the last week or something. So, what did you do in the last few days? Yeah, like, uh, like after the the instrumentation exam was uh, on the first week, and then the next week it was easy. Yeah. So yeah. whenever, like, in my instrumentation exam, I got a little bit, uh, what I would say, a little bit confused. while giving the exam uh, due to tension and stress okay but that but uh, like so uh, first priority i think like that was that one wasn't your first priority right the, getting a good rank in the instrument and i think yeah 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 that is not worthy to me at least yeah. since i am i am thinking of joining psu so i would not get that from instrument yeah because like you wouldn't be able to apply in from the in anywhere i think for psu i think as you are from ec branch yeah 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 yes 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 yeah. that's the reason so but uh, it was quite demotivating okay. since it was an exam okay yeah so uh, then in the in the week i gave one one only one mock test full length okay to check whether what is the preparation okay. at that point okay and i tried to like uh, i tried to stay calm during the exam that's a main motivation for the ec so like many people actually like uh, Like deteriorate their exams due to stress. Yeah, up. panic. The panic comes up and yeah, yeah, yeah. So like it is very important to stay calm during the exam. So I just uh, practiced for that to stay calm and revise the notes that I made. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like it is suggested that if you like in the last week if you have already got good marks in test series then you don't give. If you haven't, like you give one more test just to feel good, like uh, your test series mark. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just to feel motivated yeah. before the examination. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what about like the day of the examination of the EC? Like IN wasn't like your first priority, I think. But EC was, I think, your first priority. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. what Definitely. stress was there? And after seeing the question, what happened? Like, what were the throughout the exam? What happened to you, mind? Uh, like I used to do questions from the very first to the very last. I didn't had any kind of like strategy strategy for. At, like uh, you didn't have any strategy. Like I will uh, attempt aptitude first, then like uh, this uh, uh, technical or technical first. No, like I I used to like uh, the aptitude comes first, obviously. So I used to do from the like aptitude one, and I'll just continue doing the questions. Okay. Uh, so the point was that uh, when the aptitude was was like was moderate, it was not difficult. Or rather, I would say if you have practice in aptitude. For your placements or something, that would be easy for you. So since aptitude was easy, you get a motivation in the beginning of your exam. And uh, but on the like technical stuff is like IAC made a difficult question this year, of course. Yeah. So like I I got the feeling ki, that the question is questions are difficult quite. So I mentally prepared myself that I have to like I might have to skip questions. I might not be able to do questions. So that was the like the first impression of the paper. Okay, okay. So uh, what do you do? You try to attempt all the questions uh, sequentially, or like you skip the difficult questions, then like you came back to the second round or third round. Uh, I actually try to do the questions sequentially, okay. but sometimes it happens that uh, like you haven't studied a topic maybe, or you are weak in some topic, so you just skip the question yeah, yeah, yeah. immediately. Yeah. You don't look at yeah, it. Yeah. And after and uh, like. my strategy was like that my only strategy regarding question solving was that there are 65 questions so for getting a good rank you have to do maximum 50 to 55 questions correctly if you can do that that's brilliant but if you can't also like if there are 10 questions like if you have 10 question mistaken so that would not affect your rank drastically in this paper also like I have forty-three questions correct only. Only forty-three out of sixty-five. Okay, yeah. Okay. So, like, what was your rank and gate score? Can you tell? Like, what was your rank and gate score? Uh, my EC rank. Is Sorry, uh, what was your marks and gate gate score? Marks and gate score. So, so, so marks was sixty-one. Uh, sixty-one. Okay. 
and my gate score is 886 okay 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 16 for easy okay so like 43 questions are like for me was enough in this case yeah because the tech paper was pretty difficult paper yeah paper was yeah. difficult yeah yeah but uh, like if you can do questions like 53 55 questions and the paper is easy so you expect that 50 questions are correct and that's a pretty high number of questions yeah actually the to, thing is to make yeah, during my time i also had uh, 50 or 55 questions correct but still i couldn't get that great rank because uh, the paper was easy that that's why yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah. that was the thing if paper comes yeah. easy then it uh, like you have to make more questions because that's the pressure like paper is, is difficult then you just attempt as many yeah. as possible by you and you will get a good rank okay because yes yeah. yes yes since this paper was quite difficult so like i prepared myself that i will not be able to do that much of questions so and this paper was quite like if you are not very prepared for the exam like it would be very difficult for you to maintain the spirit of giving the exam for the 3 hours yeah that is that is true so is. so that that is important uh, while like giving the exam that's what mock test does to you yeah yeah you should you should focus on your mock test so yeah any uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. parting words you want to give to our viewers anything like uh, about gate preparation or any advice you want to give to our viewers at the end i will say that if you want to uh, like if you are like first of all think about gate think about the prospects of gate firstly and if you are thinking that you should be giving gate then don't waste your time just start preparing slowly because like if you are a very good student you will not take time like people with one month of preparation has scored very well while people with one year of preparation are not scoring that well but you must not waste your time rather decide fast and go for the gate preparation yeah, as soon as possible yeah that's it you should start early that is the main i think uh, yeah 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 message from you So yeah Deepa thanks for coming to our channel we hope like you get all your thank you thank you all your wishes will come true we hope so yeah thank you Deepa yeah thank you very much